It is 400,000 years ago, and Barnum doesn't look like this. Let's see Barnum in the Hoxnean interglacial stage. After suffering the effects of being on the edge of a glacial lake, Barnum has finally emerged into a large river valley with ponds and lakes dotting the landscape. Along the edge of the river and surrounding the ponds are areas of dense woodland and scrubland. Hiding in the water, there are pond terrapins with trout, tench, pike, roach and rudd. In the woodlands, voles and squirrels are some of the smaller mammals, while species of boar, rhinoceros and elephant roam in the area. Pipistral bats haunt the evenings and tree frogs croak into the night. Ascalopian snakes, aurochs, a long extinct species of early cow, and macaques are some of the more exotic species living here. The temperature would have been warmer during this time, allowing many of these species to thrive where they can't now. But familiar animals can still be found in the form of red and fallow deer, along with rabbits and badgers, populating the landscape much as they do today. As much as all this is interesting, perhaps the most interesting part is that Barnum was used by Homo heidelbergensis, the precursor to the Neanderthal, for the creation of flint tools. These are evidenced by flint flakes and hand axes of different types which have been excavated from the area. The hand axes being manufactured here were made by knocking flakes off of locally sourced flint until forming a cutting edge. There is also evidence of burning in this period of Barnum's history, however, as of yet, it can't be said for sure that it was intentional, or whether it was a forest fire that swept through the area. If it was a purposeful use of fire, it would be one of a handful of such sites in Europe for its age. Coincidentally, an area of purposeful burning from the same era was found located in the Beaches Pit in Westow, which is part of the Bradmere Hundred in which Barnum also fell. So however much things were different 400,000 years ago, people in Barnum still saw some familiar animals, the trees were still the same even if there were more of them, there was still a scrubland with a river, and both flint and fire was part of everyday life.